こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。ビジネスプレゼンで使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. Ladies and gentlemen, today, I would like to delve into a concept that has significantly impacted businesses throughout history, marketing myopia. This term was coined by Theodore Lovett in a groundbreaking Harvard Business Review article in 1960. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. 
In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses. It describes a critical pitfall that companies can fall into when their focus narrows to the products they sell rather than the needs of their customers. In this speech, we will explore marketing myopia, its implications, and provide real-world examples of its detrimental effects on businesses.
Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time. Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time. Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time. Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time. Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time. Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time. Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time. Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time.
Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time. Before we discuss the drawbacks of marketing myopia, let's establish a clear understanding of this concept. Marketing myopia occurs when a business becomes short-sighted and inward-focused, primarily concerned with its existing products or services, rather than the broader needs of the market. It's a failure to recognize that customer needs and markets evolve over time. Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once-dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once-dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once-dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once-dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012.
Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once-dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once-dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once-dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once-dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once-dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Now, let's delve into the specific detriments of marketing myopia, supported by real-world examples. Missed innovation opportunities. 
One of the most significant drawbacks of marketing myopia is the missed opportunities for innovation. Kodak, a once dominant photography company, is a prime example. They were so focused on film and print products that they missed the digital photography revolution. By the time they embraced digital photography, it was too late, and they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. 
They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Loss of market relevance, Blockbuster Video, a well-known rental chain, is another example. They concentrated on renting physical DVDs and failed to adapt to the streaming era. As a result, they lost market relevance and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Meanwhile, Netflix, which had a broader view of entertainment distribution, thrived. Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share. Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share. Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share. Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share. Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share.
Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share. Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share. Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share. Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share. Customer dissatisfaction, Nokia, a former mobile phone giant, provides another illustration. They became complacent with their feature phones and didn't anticipate the shift to smartphones. This led to customer dissatisfaction and a significant decline in market share. Competitive disruption, Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Competitive disruption, Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Competitive disruption, Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Competitive disruption, Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Competitive disruption, Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Competitive disruption, 
Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Competitive Disruption, Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Competitive Disruption, Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Competitive Disruption, Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Competitive Disruption, Xerox, a pioneer in photocopying technology, focused too heavily on its traditional products. They failed to adapt to the changing needs of offices and underestimated competitors like HP, which embraced broader document management solutions. Inflexibility in changing markets, lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, and inflexibility in changing markets. Inflexibility in changing markets, lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, and inflexibility in changing markets. Inflexibility in changing markets, lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, and inflexibility in changing markets.
Inflexibility in changing markets. Lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, and inflexibility in changing markets. Inflexibility in changing markets, lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, and inflexibility in changing markets. Inflexibility in changing markets, lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, and inflexibility in changing markets. Inflexibility in changing markets, lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, and inflexibility in changing markets. Inflexibility in changing markets, lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, and inflexibility in changing markets. Inflexibility in changing markets, lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, 
and inflexibility in changing markets. Inflexibility in changing markets, lastly, consider Sears, a retail giant that primarily sold through catalogs and physical stores. They struggled to adapt to the e-commerce revolution, ultimately filing for bankruptcy in 2018. In conclusion, marketing myopia can have devastating consequences for businesses. It leads to missed innovation opportunities, loss of market relevance, customer dissatisfaction, competitive disruption, and inflexibility in changing markets. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. 
They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. To avoid this pitfall, businesses must maintain a customer-centric perspective, constantly reassessing and adapting to evolving market needs. They should focus not just on their current products or services, but on the broader solutions and experiences they can provide to their customers. As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies. As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies. As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies. As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies. As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies.
As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies. As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies. As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies. As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies. As we navigate the dynamic landscape of modern business, it's essential to heed the lessons of marketing myopia and prioritize customer centricity and adaptability. Only then can businesses remain agile, relevant, and competitive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for your attention, and I encourage you to reflect on the profound impact of marketing myopia in your own business strategies. の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。